I stand here proudly on Ghana land today and recognise their history, cultures, ancestors, leaders, and thank them for all they continue to teach me. I acknowledge today the Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor and President, Deborah Edwards and other members of the family of Dr. Loitcher O'Donoghue, members of staff and to all the graduates. It is my extraordinary pleasure to give an address on behalf of Dr. Loitcher O'Donoghue and her family as part of her acceptance of the honorary doctorate that is being awarded by the University of Adelaide today. My relationship with Loitcher began almost 30 years ago now and I still recall how excited I was to be in her midst for the very first time. And at that time, I could never have imagined that I would be privileged to build a close relationship with her, one where she would challenge me, mentor me, support me, and become a significant figure in my life and of that of my family. I would not dare to speak on Loich's behalf today, but what I want to do for you, the graduates, is offer learnings I have earned from my years in rooms with Loacher. You have already heard from the commendation in how extraordinary her contribution to her people and the nation has been. But I want you to know we are all recipients of her heart, expertise, passion, commitment and sacrifice. To frame this, I wish to quote another fierce Aboriginal woman and intellect in our country, Mary Graham, adjunct associate professor in the School of Political Science and International Studies at the University of Queensland. There has been a dearth of conversation about political concepts in their fundamental sense. No spark that has us examining the vital conceptual resources we draw upon to organise ourselves and our being together. Foundational political narratives around sovereignty, rights, justice, international law, progress and development have lost their luster. Science, technology and advanced communication should, and in some respects do, enable remarkable achievements. But our institutional settings and their conceptual undercarriage have revealed themselves as unfit for designing solutions to the challenges we face." End quote. With all the knowledge in the world, there are still those challenges and injustices that we are not advancing. We are not correcting. We are not listening to people for whom the solutions will make the biggest difference. We are not committing to no longer accepting the status quo of the excruciating human toll of inequality and irrationality of racism. In summary, there is much to do, enough work to go around, and the Aiken call for leadership that is courageous, bold, strong, generous and kind. And this is how I also summarise what Loitcher has been generous enough to teach me. To keep this brief and in agonising over what to say today, there are three points to draw out. Firstly, dedication and discipline is the only way to be the best you can be to tackle the challenges that are so difficult you can't even imagine them until you are facing into them. The story she told me about her early nursing years and the high bar required of her as an Aboriginal professional bear this out. Secondly, not taking on responsibilities you cannot carry. There is no shame in declining challenges and opportunities when you are self-aware and still readying yourself for these same challenges at another time. There will always be more work to do, always. And finally, as women, our leadership will always ask something extra from us. And accepting this reality is not to deny the injustice of it, but to carry it and to work to eliminate it for those who come after us. And for those who walk alongside us, who may also need that extra support. Ultimately, these are simple truths, but surprisingly hard to hold in practice. Ask yourself, how much leadership with this integrity do you see around you? and how much of the values align with your own. You will all make your own choices about what is important and apply your values in your own ways. But I commend these simple life lessons to you. In this approach, through the work of Dr. Loitcher O'Donoghue, they have helped shape the nation for the better. They have and continue to serve me well and still inspire me in my moments of hopelessness and despair. 
They remind me of my responsibility to all those who have invested in my learning and those who continue to enable me an opportunity to serve my family, community and country. My very best wishes to every graduate here today and congratulations on your achievements to date and all those to come. In closing again, I wish to pay my respects to the Ghana people whose land we are gathered on and I pay my deep respects to Dr Loacher O'Donoghue. Thank you.